morning. Welcome to Good Vibes. I'm your host, Lisa Halk, the hippie chick, here with Dane Henning, the psychedelic dude. Hello. Always glad to have you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun being did here. You, did you do something fun for your birthday this weekend? Uh, no. I, not really. Well, I went over to some family and friends and stuff like that. Yeah. And have some cake. And I did. I did have cake. Good. German chocolate cake. Yum. Yeah. German chocolate cake. And I always have uh, chocolate almond ice cream. Ooh, that sounds That's great. All of it. Well, that's wherever you're... It's not necessarily great for that senior menu we talked about, but, no. you know, it's your birthday. So. It was my birthday. That's right. It was my birthday. We'll and let you get away with I mean, I could, I could probably count four colors on there, maybe, but probably not. No. Brown. Brown and light brown. Um, white with <laughs> coconut on the cake. Brown and light brown. <laughs> ice cream. What's ice cream? What color was I? Yeah. Brown. <laughs> I'm assuming you had some food along with the cake, so we yeah. will let you get away with that. <laughs> It was good. It was Did good. you listen to six songs you love? Mm-hmm. All right. Always. What's your favorite? What's my favorite? What's your favorite song right now that you love to listen to? What's my favorite song right now? Uh, probably Hurricane by Luke Combs. Right now is probably my favorite song. Is that a country song? Yeah. And then um, I've been listening to a lot of Beatles also. Oh, time. you never go wrong with the Beatles. And um, yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I listen, I listen to music all the time. Yeah. It's well, if I'm in the if I'm in the truck, it's always on. So yeah, yeah, yeah I even keep it on at home mm -hmm. too when I'm working because mm -hmm. it just makes me feel good. And I mean, six different songs. That's that's pretty easy. That's easy. Right? Yeah, and a commute. Yeah. That's super easy. So. And if you have Spotify, which I do, I have Spotify. I have the premium Spotify, and so it just oh, you have goes. the premium. You I do. Mm -hmm. I do. I got the family version too. So I didn't know there was such a there's, thing. There's a family. Yeah, there's a family. What, what's different with the family version? Uh, you get it cheaper. Uh, so let's say you, you have you so many people your in the spouse family. Mm -hmm. has Spotify. Um, you get it like for half the price for the second person. Oh, so you nice. save money. You save money. On nice. it. Spotify, if you'd like yeah. to sponsor this show, we'd Spotify. be glad to, to take your money. Yes. Happy to. <laughs> Happy to take it. Yes. Speaking of that, I would yeah. like to talk about the benefits of music with senior adults. Uh, yeah, music is I fantastic. Mean, I yeah. think music's wonderful for mm -hmm. everybody. So I think these effects can, can apply to anybody. Mm -hmm. But there are some some things that are specific to seniors that I think might be really sure. interesting. Yeah, there are. Absolutely. So John Hopkins actually says they consider music medicine for the mind. I'll agree with that. Whole I think that's way. amazing. Yep, I agree with that. Yep. Something as simple as a song can dramatically improve quality of life. Mm -hmm. It ups that dopamine we talked about with the caffeine and the mm -hmm. coffee. Mm -hmm. It ups that dopamine production. So Drink your black coffee and listen to a song you love, and wow, you're going to feel great. You're killing it. Yeah, you're killing it. <laughs> it also reduces stress and anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, it also helps to decrease the experience of pain. Okay. So that might apply to seniors, mm -hmm. but I can tell you when I was in labor, I brought specific music I wanted to listen to when I was in labor because... I thought it would help with the pain, sure, and it, sure. it did. I always felt like it did. So it almost is a distraction, mm -hmm. and it's something very familiar, and you know, it just it it does. Well, I think music is always right because you get to it can match whatever mood you're feeling. That's and true. There's some sort of there's some sense of um, it's okay that you're feeling this specific way, mm -hmm. um, and somehow it makes you feel better. So let's I'm not the angry. only one that feels this way. Yeah, let's say you're yeah. angry and you listen to like heavier rock heavier or something rock, yeah. <laughs> it somehow makes you feel better like it should you you would think that it would just make you even more angry but it doesn't and mm -mm. it makes you feel better yeah yeah at least some out. of that aggression yeah. yeah so but the good thing about it helping with pain is that it has no side effects that a drug might right that's true mm -hmm. that's true other than maybe like busted eardrums like i did when I was... <laughs> well, uh, maybe for the pain you're not listening to the hard rock but i don't know <laughs> Crank it to 11. You should you should listen to whatever makes you happy. Yeah. And I want to quote a doctor from John Hopkins. I don't have his name. It just said a doctor. Okay. But it says, if you want to keep your brain engaged throughout the aging process, listening to or playing music is a great tool. It provides a total brain workout. Interesting. So that's very cool. Interesting. Okay. I'd like to see a lot more studies about mm -hmm. that. They also said it can improve your sleep quality, mm -hmm. alertness, your mood, and memory. Mm -hmm. Um. They're still studying why these effects happen to people when they listen to music. So we don't have a whole lot of data to back it up. Mm -hmm. But everybody agrees that for seniors, that the benefit is critical. So that's something maybe you could incorporate into your care for your patients. You know, what, what? ask them, what's your favorite song? What do you like to listen to? Maybe you can 
have a radio in their room or a mm -hmm. CD player or something and play the things they like. Well, there's been a vast mm -hmm. improvement in Alzheimer's and dementia. You're about ready to talk about I'm that. I'm going to talk about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and just let you. Finish. Okay. Um, so music therapy is something that is prescribed. Mm -hmm. And if only, if nothing else, it provides social interaction. Oh, yeah. Um, it can relieve boredom, mm -hmm. which can be a problem sometimes. It can calm, calm I can't talk, <laughs> calm nervousness. <laughs> sure, sure. And it's enjoyable. Mm-hmm. It motivates people to move around, and I, I think that's so true. When you hear a song that is really upbeat and makes you feel good, don't you want to just get up and move your oh, body? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So for that's sure. a great thing for seniors. Um, it increases mobility and coordination. It reduces tension and pain. And Alzheimer's and dementia, this is what's really amazing to me. The disease progression does not affect the part of your brain that responds to music. Give it to me again. Okay. The disease progression mm -hmm. doesn't affect the brain's natural response to music. Uh -huh. Okay. So you don't lose the memories of the music. Right. You know, right. It, they aren't distorted. So it has the ability to evoke memories and emotions from long ago that they may not be able to recall. So I think that's an amazing thing. Right. And how comforting would that be if you didn't know anybody around you, you didn't know your environment, you were frightened. Barely what your own name is. Yeah, yeah. and you could listen to something and say, I know that song, I remember mm. that song, it made me feel happy. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a, that's a beautiful gift you can give somebody. Absolutely. So. Well, and I mean, there's a reason why you have a, like if you are a gym rat, you hang out in the gym a lot, you have a workout <laughs> a playlist. playlist. Yeah. There's a reason why, <laughs> I mean, it obviously evokes some sort of emotion or memory to some degree. I mean, I know people that don't really even, I don't know how you can not care for music, but people mm -hmm. that don't care for music, they always have some sort of, like, I would go to the gym with them or something. They always had headphones or something. And I'm like, you don't, you just, I thought you didn't like music, <laughs> which I think is a complete lie. When people oh, yeah. Say I they think don't they don't, like don't music, realize it. Yeah. You don't know what you're talking about. You love yeah. music. Shut up. <laughs> so, well, we're all music lovers around yeah. here. So Gary's an amazing mm. musician. He is. He is. He, he, will, yeah, he should share some of his recordings sometimes because he's, he's so good. So. He still won't play with me, though. I don't and know why. I think we ought to get him and Dane at CNA Fest playing on stage. Yeah. I'll play the guitar. All right. Gary can play the bass. All right. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I might even sing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come up with something yeah. we all know. <laughs> I'll play the drums, too. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, that makes sense that uh, diseases don't attack, don't attack where you're, where the... That memory of music is stored yeah. because that way, I mean, that's the reason why they made so much, so much progression with Alzheimer's and, and music therapy and dementia mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And I mean, you've seen vast improvements just from music and music alone, which is coffee and music. I'm telling you, it's, it's a thing. It's a good thing. Like, it's a just good thing. Focus on those two and you're good to go. Awesome. Well, yeah. I so appreciate you being here oh, with me today. Yeah. Everybody go out and do your CNA Fest stuff. Yes. Get, your, get your registration in, get your club account going if you haven't already, pay a little bit each week. Write an essay. Write three an to five hundred words is nothing crazy, just three to five hundred words. So. And we're not picky about it as long as you answer the question. That's yep. all that's important. Yep. So exactly. everybody go fill it out. If you're not sure whether you're eligible to fill it out or not for the essay, just fill it out anyway because we'll yep. tell you if you're not eligible. Yep. We'll There's only know. a few people that would not be eligible. Exactly. So exactly. everybody fill it out. And until Thursday, peace out. Thank you.